Hey friends and welcome back to another Irwin's Awesome Lego World video. Today, we are going to make a friend for this crab. We made it last to last video with a hairbit crab and a king crab. Go and watch that video. It needs a friend so we are making a shark for it. I am like a fabric for which won't fit me. Because it's a shark. I'm just out of here. Now let's start building. Number 31088, same as the crab. The crab is actually also from this set. And today we are making this. Shock! Watch till the end. You need a 2x6 plate and a 1x2 plate with a socket joint and put it on like this. Here's the step shown in the book. Next, put a 1 by 2 plate behind the 1 by 2 plate with a socket joint. Here's it in the book. A 2 by 2 plate on top of those two plates. Step number 3. A 2 by 2 round plate. Step number 4. And those are the first 4 steps. Now. Then take a 1 by 2 plate. With a socket joint. And a 1 by 2 plate. Put them like this. It's kind of like the one over here. It's actually exactly like that. Then take two of these pieces, it's one piece so that just so you know, then take it's one brick and two plates tall, five plates tall, with four studs at the front and one by two plate with two of these one by one slopes make one of them and then make sure this point is facing the opposite direction of this do the same and put it on the other side do, that's step five six and seven Then take this piece and put it like this. And then this piece and then one more two plate like this. That's 8, 9 and 10. Then make two of these. It's made from a one by one brick with a hole and a connector pin. Put them like this on this, on this plate. And then put these bricks, one by one by one bricks, which stood on two sides. One, two. Make sure these studs are facing outside. That's really how you can only put it. Then take a two by four plate. Make sure it's not covering these. Then take a rod. It's transparent yellow in the box. And then put it through. For people, who, for people who are new to Lego, this might seem like magic to you. But it's actually how Lego works. Then 
just one thing I have to tell you before I move on. If you are not using this set, then make sure you are not using grape vines, cause cause rods don't go through the entire thing. They only go through half of them. So make sure you are using black ones. Next step. Take. You need actually need these pieces, but because I couldn't find mine, I'm using one by one cylinder cylindrical brick, bricks and I'm and the reason I'm using these one because I didn't couldn't find those and this is really the closest I could get and because it has a hole at the top it like 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 the eye is like the inside more like the outside is visible then you're probably now you're probably wondering what will we use to cover these pieces? That's the step coming right now. Take four of these pieces. Four. One of them got stuck on the way. And then put them like this. This doesn't really connect them. But this step will make this. It's Step 17 and 18 and put and put it like this. Make sure it looks like this. Now you need these two pieces. And put one like this on these one with two on which has stood on two sides and the other one over here now you need this piece and some of you might be think might be asking is this the rarest piece of Lego it is among the rarest I think because I don't really find most of these. But yeah, it's, it's, it's quite rare for me at least. Put it like this. Then put a two, a one by two slow plate like this. This looks very weird, right? Well, it'll look it looks weird because I didn't put all the things of the outside plus I'm not using the right colors. Then put this piece it's basically a top of the cone and this is actually the most weird feature about it half of it is blue half of it is white it gives me a very weird feeling and i and if you know this secret about this lego piece it if you look carefully over here it's uh, this is this much is actually two two by two bricks with with slants on them back to back not like the edges but like the backs they're like touching each other if you if you look carefully you can see that there's like this sharp line straightly going down and it's like and it's like separatingly like only going down and like the turning going down it's actually a very cool secret about this piece. I didn't notice that at first, but now I do. We are on the lower jaw of this shark. And you're probably wondering, why are we moving on to the lower jaw if you only have one set of three teeth of the upper jaw? Well, I don't know why the, the creator of this why did, why did the creator of this make it like this? I don't really know why. Wait, this is actually just the 
place where the lower jaw connects not really where it not really the lower jaw itself i just noticed that take a two by two plate a two by two plate a one by two plate a one by two plate with a bar and a one and a two by two round plate and put it flip this upside down first and then put it like a this now take two of these l shaped pieces did you just see it's pan it's pan i don't really know how to say that word and then put it like they are upside down ones if because the head we are building it like from the bottom like we are going down 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 kind of now take another big piece and in and a two a three by two plate put the three but i first attach them and then i'll show you how to look put them so that your shark on this side looks like this this is falling off then take two of these pieces i couldn't find two of them so i'm using two one by two put it on the two by three put it on the two by three two by three then take this these two pieces it's basically this piece but i'm using two pieces to make it and then make sure the your side of the shark looks like this now take a one by one plate As you can see, I changed the color because I because I accidentally used two of these. I need one of these because I couldn't find one. I ended up using that. Now take a one by one plate and put one curl of a one by two curl slope like this, and then put it like this. Wait. I put it on the wrong side. That was one mistake. Right now I was plating this side and I accidentally put that on this side. Now it's time to make the side of the upper jaw. that sound it was actually a plane i hear i hear them almost every day it's just too annoying while i'm filming videos it just interrupts them and sometimes even makes them longer now do all of the stuff i told you to do on this side and flip it on to this side before it didn't even look like it would become a shark's head but now look doesn't this 
Don't tell me this doesn't look like a shark's head. Now it's it's time for the lower jaw. Take a two by two plate with this bump at the bottom. I don't know why did they make the piece with the bump at the bottom. And then put four of these pieces on all four. I'm not doing that because I didn't have enough. And also what two and also some of like the ones facing back don't really matter because you don't really put anything on them. If you're doing the same like me, put two over here and two of two with with one stood at this side like this. You if you're using exactly like the book, then then do like one step. You need you put two and make it like this, and then another step put two more like this. I'm doing like this just because the back side doesn't really matter, and I couldn't find them. Oh, a one by two plate with two clips like this, and a two by two plate uh, uh, with a curve. The the one that you should have that I should have shown you over here. I was using a half of it, two halves to make a full, which is possible, of course. Now you just have to make put the teeth on. First, take one to make the teeth. But first, I have a quiz. I have a quiz for you. One question of a quiz. I normally do like this for a quiz. What do you think will this be? I'm giving you five seconds. It's the tongue. Did you pause the video? If you did, you didn't do what you should have done. Now take one of these toothpiece and a one by two plate with a slope. Make sure the tip is not facing the teeth side, like this, and put it like this. Then take one of these pieces. And then put these pieces like this to make this. Put make two of them and put it on both sides. And then, but can you guess where the lower jaw will attach to the upper jaw? If you have if you have been paying attention to how it looks, you would probably know. You would probably think it's over here, a bar, and this has a clip. And what? And what attaches to a bar? A clip. So just click it on. Wait, wait. Wait. What are you saying? Don't eat the camera. And that's the head we are going to make the body and the third part in two other videos. The body in the next video and the third part and the tail in the third video. And this is basically the head of a, uh, a shark. Yeah, these are over here. The socket joints will attach to ball joints, so that it can like bend. And I'll see you in the next Iron's Awesome Lego World video. Don't eat the camera. Stop.